and other Islamic books by by mostly by Pak Pakistani yes. authors, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. um, uh, and Ahmadiyya, yeah, Ahmadiyya yeah. movement yeah. Uh, publications, yeah. uh, which is not accepted in Saudi Arabia, as you know, right, you know, right. um, um, and uh, one day I just decided to take a book and read it. Mm -hmm. So I read uh, uh, from his books, from my father's private library. Right, mm -hmm. right. And so as you read from those books and you started your increasing in knowledge, I mean, how, how did you feel, I mean, amongst the people who really hadn't uh, discovered or learned okay. about the things which you knew? Well, at that point, during that time, when mm -hmm. I was reading my father's books, uh, what I read was uh, Iqbal, you know, Doc, uh, Iqbal, Dr. Mm -hmm. Iqbal, um, on the man, uh, God, man in the universe. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I read uh, some other books by Ahmadiyya, and uh, believe it or not, <clears throat> they, I wasn't consciously aware of any of those materials affecting my loyalty at all mm -hmm. to the Honorable Elijah Muhammad, mm -hmm. the leader of the Nation of Islam, right. you know, my father. Right. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see those things threatening that relationship. And I guess by him having them as his private books, mm -hmm. uh, that made it easy, too, for me to read what he was reading mm -hmm. and not feel that it was threatening uh, anything. Um, I didn't come to have really serious uh, difference uh, with uh, my father and his teachings mm -hmm. that would uh, hurt my loyalty to him mm -hmm. as a follower of his teachings, mm -hmm. not as his son. That mm -hmm. could never be hurt. Right. But as a follower of his teaching, um, until I was in prison, mm -hmm. um, uh, I followed my father. He went to prison in mm -hmm. World War II, mm -hmm. during World War II. He refused to accept the draft card, and right. he was in prison for five years, mm -hmm. five years. Uh, and my oldest brother followed him. He was in prison too for five years. And many old people. For the same thing? Yes. Right. Many old people, old, old members, males, mm -hmm. senior members, uh, up in the age, like 60. Well, you know, that's something, that's an important piece of history because I think in the people who really don't know the history, mm -hmm. they would think that maybe Muhammad Ali was the first one to be threatened <laughs> with jail. <laughs> oh, really, because we don't hear the stories that there were people before who no, also were no, Even before World War II, mm -hmm. uh, the uh, temple was raided. And my father was charged, and the leaders back then were charged in Detroit. This was in Detroit, mm -hmm. with uh, the contributing to the delinquents of minors. Why? Because they wouldn't accept that their children be put in public schools. They mm -hmm. had their own private school. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, uh, the law didn't permit that uh, at that time. So they were arrested, mm -hmm. put in jail. And they even had clash, violent clash with the police, mm -hmm. because the police uh, insulted one of the sisters. Uh, and uh, a brother attacked the police, so they began fighting with the police. It was like a riot mm -hmm. um, uh, in Detroit. Came to Chicago, and same thing happened because of uh, us having our own private schools. Same thing happened about two years later. The same thing happened in Detroit. Now, um, I'm a little baby. I'm told these things. Mm -hmm. I don't. I didn't witness these, these things. I never right. witnessed these things. I'm told these things. Yes. Now. Get back to your point. Yes. Your, your, your. No, the point was is as you begin to evolve and, and, yes. and see, I mean, I think that you were in the position that you know your father's private library. Yes, sir, I was you saying had, yes, that okay. I, in prison yeah. is when I had difference, mm -hmm. and I'm you know, a child is curious. Mm -hmm. So over the years, I'm curious and I'm seeing things. I'm listening to things. I was a good listener, and I'm listening to things. And what I loved about the Islam my father was teaching mm -hmm. was that he, he said Islam is freedom, justice, and equality. Mm -hmm. He didn't teach the Quran. He taught Bible from the Bible, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, and I believe the X also meant you're still a Christian. Mm -hmm. The X is a cross, too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, we, we are, we are conditioned, you'll be in condition to be a Muslim one day. Mm -hmm. uh, my father would say this. He would say, we are trying to be Muslims. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. We're trying to be Muslims. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so I believe uh, Mr. Farad uh, gave us the X, X's not only to say you're unknown, but to say you're more Christian now than Muslim. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the plan is to one day bring you to the Quran so you can be real Muslim. Mm -hmm. Okay, getting back to myself now. Okay. I'm in prison mm -hmm. and I'm recalling flaws in the so-called logic or rational teachings of the Nation of Islam. Serious flaws that contradicted logic, mm -hmm. contradicted reason, sound reasoning. And um, all of this is bothering me. 
And I think at the time, at that time, during that time, even before I, I, I began serving my prison term, mm -hmm. um, I was um, into other ideas. At one point, I was even thinking of communism. Mm -hmm. uh, but when I read it, I said, uh, this, the ideas that I like in communism, they are better. I like them better in the Temple of Islam. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right, right. Um, yes. Yeah. So I, um, I wasn't influenced to be a communist, but I was curious, very mm -hmm. curious. So now I'm in prison, mm -hmm. and I'm reflecting on the past, what I've been taught and everything. Mm -hmm. And I said to myself, I can't uh, keep quiet about Mr. Farad being God. Mm -hmm. I'm in prison. I'm right. thinking to myself. Right. I said, my, uh, my daddy, you know, I call him daddy. I'm thinking to myself, so I call him daddy, you know. Mm -hmm. I said, daddy said, uh, Jesus Christ, a white man, is not God. Mm -hmm. He's not. The, he's not God. He's not the Son of God. Mm -hmm. I say. Then he tells us, Mr. Fanat is God, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and he looks like a white man to every black man right. walking the streets that I walk. Mm -hmm. Mr. Fanat looks like a white man too, you know. Mm -hmm. So um, at, in prison, I made up my mind that when I was released, I would never uh, accept to identify with that belief that Mr. Fallot is God in the flesh or incarnate. Mm -hmm. oh, mountains of Mecca bear witness that I to the oneness of Allah do I testify.